Hey guys, Grady's mom here with a pretty big haul this week. It is Friday and I just got home from Walmart. I had to pick up some groceries. I had to pick up some things for Grady's potty training. I will get into all that, but it was a big haul. I spent over $200 this week. Um, a lot of that was because of some things that Grady needed for potty training. Um, and also I sort of just got inspired to cook a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm gonna start over here again. This is a pretty, pretty much bigger haul than usual. So uh, I'm gonna jump in on this side. I got some baby Swiss cheese. My husband likes Swiss, I hate it, and I just use these for his sandwiches at work. I got some pepperoni panino things, just cheese wrapped in pepperoni for snacks. Got a couple things of bacon. I got the naturally hardwood smoked and then a thick cut. Um, one of these I'm gonna freeze and one of these I'm going to use to make the BLT pasta salad again that I did that cooking video for. I literally am obsessed with that, you guys, to the point where I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm gonna make another batch for the weekend. It was that good. Got a pound of ground turkey. Might be more than a pound, but it's around a pound. Some white wheat bread, a couple snacks. I got some chili cheese Fritos and then just some regular pretzels. Um, I got a couple of these Jimmy Dean regular pork sausages. These are one of my favorite um, pork sausages to cook with for uh, like things like quiches or soups. I just really, really like this brand. Um, they didn't have that bacon flavored one that I got last time, but these would be my second uh, choice. The bacon one was delicious, by the way, for anybody who wanted to try that. I got a big thing of Orbit bubble mint gum. This is actually for my car and I brought it in the house by accident. I just like to keep these in my cup holder. So that's gotta go back in the car. Got some canned things for the pantry. So I just got some Hunt's pasta sauce. I actually use this in a few soup recipes. Um, so I got that. I also got some just regular tomato sauce, again, for recipes. I like to use those in the crock pot. Had to stock up on some beans. So I got a couple of the dark kidney beans here. And then I also got a couple of the white cannellini beans. I really love beans in soups and stews. I got four broths here. I got three chicken broth and I believe one is beef. Yeah, so I got three chicken and one beef. My husband loves these. I think they're random, but they're just these white cheddar, salami, black pepper, cheese stick things. So I got him four of those. I got some shredded iceberg for salads or just whatever I can kind of throw them on. Some fast food fries, which I bake these in the oven. Got a big thing of mushrooms because I'm gonna be making that um, white turkey goulash recipe next week. Again, my husband loved it and wanted it again. A couple tomatoes for that BLT pasta salad that I'm gonna make again this weekend. Needed some veggies uh, to kind of stock my veggie drawer, so I got some carrots. I got some organic green onions. I'm actually gonna throw these into the uh, pasta salad. Thought they'd be really good and use them in soups as well. Got some flour tortillas. Some of my favorite cheese, which is the Sargento Four State Cheddar. I got this random little bumblebee tuna thing for my husband's lunch just for a snack next week. Another bottle of the dressing in case I need more for the BLT pasta salad. I got a Glade pumpkin pie, I think, pumpkin pie scent. This is just one of those refill cartridges for my um, motion sensor sprayer. I got some Pam butter cooking spray, uh, red onion, some uh, tricolor peppers, a zucchini for that white turkey goulash, some strawberries, one of these P3 chicken dipper things. I just try to get random things like this for my husband's lunches when I can find something different. I got some Cajun style turkey breasts for sandwiches, some of these Smuckers Uncrustables for my husband's lunches. I got this uh, snack tray. It just has uh, cheese, pepperoni, and uh, crackers just to kind of munch on for the weekend. We like to put stuff like this out when we're watching football on Sunday. I got one of these cherry lemonades. Never saw this brand before, but thought it looked good just to try it for my husband's lunch. Some pumpkin pie spice creamer for coffee. Some regular Cheez-Its. Two boxes of the Farfalle bow tie pasta. One for the BLT salad and one as a backup. A big old bag of sugar just to refill my sugar container. Big uh, five pound bag of just regular white or yellow cooking onions. These are for my son's school. Um, I forgot what they're using these for, but it's some kind of Halloween project. So I picked those up to bring to my son's school. 
Got a couple boxes of the Annie's shells and white cheddar um, just to hold me over until I can go to BJ's. My son eats these probably twice a week. So we, two nights a week we have he has these for dinner and he loves them. So I just got two to hold me over till I get to BJ's. My husband requested these. He loves these Jack Link's beef jerky things. I don't really like them, but if he asks for something, I will get it because he does not ask for much. Big thing of mandarin oranges. Grady really likes these. I really like them. Uh, some white cranberry strawberry juice. Some breakfast sandwiches for my husband's breakfast sometimes in the morning before work. Some berry medley juice to throw in my husband's lunches. As well as just some mini Dr. Pepper also for my husband's lunches. Some juice boxes for uh, Grady to bring to school and on the go. These are just the little guys. The tiny ones. Um, I think they're four or five ounces. Mm, 4.23 ounces. And they're really, really good price at Walmart. Um, this case is always under $10 at Walmart. I think that is everything grocery-wise. Now, as far as potty training stuff, um, my son's teacher and I are working on potty training, as I have mentioned uh, in the past couple weeks. And she needed some things at school for him to continue over the potty training at school. So she needed underwear. So I got um, just some Ninja Turtle underwear for school. She needed socks for school um, because apparently if they, you know, pee themselves, it, it technically can get all over. So she requested socks. So I just got these uh, six pack of socks. She requested some potty training shoes because again, if he pees, I don't want him peeing on expensive shoes. So to be honest, I just got the cheapest ones I could find that were halfway decent. These were like five bucks and um, they're just kind of little slip-ons. So yeah, not bad for five bucks, guys. And they had black, I think, but I just went with the tan ones because again, just for potty training. Um, I also got just the cheapy, the cheapest brand I could find actually. Just I don't know if this is like a Walmart brand, but these were less than a dollar. I think they were like 95 cents. So I just got two of those to bring to his school as well for potty training. And then she requested that I get 10 pairs of pants and 10 shirts, all just cheapy stuff. Um, I didn't really see anything that great there, to be honest. Not that I'm going for style, but I just didn't see anything. For one, there was not really really a lot of 4T. So I was only able to get two long sleeve tops and two gray sweatpants. And then this weekend, I will either venture out to either another Walmart or to Target just to get you know pieces that are cheap. I think these were all 388. 488 the pants might have been so they were all all these pieces were under five dollars And then like I said this weekend, I'll venture out to either another Walmart or a Target and get another eight Shirts and eight pants give or take um, Because that's my his teacher does a specific program where you need ten pants ten shirts Ten socks ten underwear a pair of shoes that kind of thing So I'm just trying to find kind of follow her guideline because she has done this a lot and she's been very successful so I trust her completely and we have a very good line of communication. So again, I have to get eight more shirts and eight more pants and probably um, a couple other things. But yeah, this was my haul today. Pretty large again, guys. Um, I'll insert the total here, but I know it was over $200. So I'm going to go put this away now and I will show you guys my meal plan for the upcoming week. Okay guys, meal plan for the upcoming week. So one night we're going to have the turkey white goulash. Um, I don't really know what else to call it. It's not a recipe that is from a book or anything. It's just a dish that I've made so many times. Um, for anybody who's curious, if you wanted to see what this looks like, I posted a weekend food diary video earlier in the week. Um, and that's something that I made in that food diary last weekend. And um, it's just a really easy, delicious, and pretty healthy crock pot dish. The only reason I'm calling it a white goulash is because there's no tomato in it and a, a traditional goulash does have tomato. So I will be filming a video for this recipe because a lot of people uh, wanted to know how to make it. And again, that's a crock pot dish. Another night uh, next week, we're going to have baked chicken. I have some chicken thighs I have to use up, so I'll just season them and bake them. And then I'll make some mashed sweet potatoes um, on the side with that. And on those, I put some brown sugar and butter. One night we're going to have burgers. I actually have, I think, three or four frozen hamburgers left over from late summer that we're just going to grill up. And then I'll just do some oven fries on the side and probably some kind of cold vegetable like a tomato or cucumber salad. Uh, one night we're going to have meatball subs. 
I'm just gonna make up some meatballs. I have, I think, just under a pound of ground beef I have to use. So I'll make some meatballs and throw them on some rolls or garlic bread with some sauce and cheese. And then I'll just do some simple baked ziti on the side, which will just be ziti with cheese and sauce and bake that up. I also, I'm gonna do next week a steak Caesar salad, just kind of in the mood for that. And then I'll do garlic bread on the side. And then one night next week, I'm going to do my mac and cheese. I'm going to throw some diced ham in there, and I'm going to do a side dish, which is a broccoli au gratin dish, which is really good. It's just like a baked broccoli in a cheese sauce with breadcrumb. And then I allotted myself one night for leftovers, um, or it should say or breakfast, not dinner. So uh, leftovers one night. I'm just trying to erase this really quick. So leftovers or breakfast one night. So... Again, cooking series next week. That will be one of the recipes that there'll be a video up for next week. And then there'll be another cooking video up as well, just something most likely not on here. Um, I've been trying to work on other concepts rather than just doing dinner things um, and, you know, trying to incorporate more things like meal prepping or freezer prep or, you know, things that I make for lunch, things like that. But it is tricky because when my son is at school, I've mentioned before, I only have about two and a half hours to film and edit and everything. So I'm still working on some concept, but there will be the two videos up next week. I just don't know what the other cooking recipe will be, and this will be one. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and the meal plan, and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye!